The issue of teen violence is a growing concern throughout the state. A 16-year-old in Greeley is being charged as an adult for allegedly killing his 15-year-old girlfriend. Our Jasmine Arenas is in Greeley tonight at a memorial for that victim. Flowers, stuffed animals, candles, and a birthday balloon surrounded the window of 15-year-old Lily Silva Lopez, who was murdered in her home June 16. I mean, it's peaceful, but we've had crime and stuff, but no, no, nothing like this. Neighbors in the area, like Cardenas, are still in shock. So I saw the neighbor of the tow truck, and I stopped. I said, what's going on? He goes, oh, the police are looking for you to get camera your, from your footage. I said, why? He goes, someone got killed. Cardenas tells CBS Colorado her camera caught the defendant, now known as 16-year-old Giovanni Cidio Cardona, running down the bike path into the trailer park home. That's where he forced himself into the young girl's home through her window, according to the affidavit obtained by CBS Colorado. And it just scares me to death. Just knowing, 3.30 in the afternoon, he ran right by. And not knowing that he was going with that intention, that's what scares me. Silva Lopez's 13-year-old brother had told her that Cedio Cardona had broken into the home. He then shot her several times before fleeing the scene. Police found Silva Lopez in the bedroom with several gunshot wounds where she died. I still get goosebumps. I still get goosebumps. Court documents show the 15-year-old had been in a relationship with the 16-year-old just for six months, and she tried ending the relationship just four weeks before the shooting. Safe House in Denver says these cases are happening more often. And what we're seeing too with the, the fatalities that are existing between our, um, our youth offenders and victims um, are most often being, um, where a firearm is being used um, and they are becoming more frequent. At least 10% of those cases are with a firearm. Safe House Denver has a youth program where they offer community education to schools, which they tell me they're having to do more often. A Weld County judge said Cidio Cardona's bond for $2 million. He is scheduled to appear in court on August 3rd for a status conference. In Greeley, Jasmine Arenas, I'm covering Colorado First.